beer.
Kara Eisenhower, she has breast cancer tomorrow. She do. They're going to do a test to see whether it's genetic on her or not. A lot of times these things are genetic with a lady like that. Pray for her. And let's pray for all such a Gail Smith. Uh, Gail Smith, she's, she's got cancer. I don't know. <clears throat> I guess this week they're going to start doing, try to do some tests, more you know, tests on her. Pray for her. Pray for my first cousin. She has, uh, she had, she's had a heart attack. She had a stroke. Now she's got it's all against the cancer that's came back. Pray for her, her name is Brother Richardson. Let's go to Brother Johnny Stanley. He had been the, the last couple of weeks. Pray for him. Pray for Andy Holyfield, Brother Michael Holyfield's brother. I think he's going back to 27th of this month. They're going to decide when <coughs> they're going to do the surgery on the pray for brother. Pray for Michael, brother. But brother, Andy's not saved. You pray for him. Pray for a friend of mine. His name's Kenny Baisley. He's living in Elkin. We've got esophageal cancer, just found out about it a couple of months or so ago. Pray for him. I'm glad Sister to get back tonight. She's hey, to pray for her. Let's pray for Billy Stewart's family. Billy passed away yesterday. Pray for that family. A lot of people in that family. Let's pray for her. At this time, a member of Grace. She's going, I believe, third went Tuesday to have some. See if the doctor can do anything to help with that issues she's been having with her stuff. Let's pray for that. Let's just pray for our country and pray the Lord help us tonight. Yes. Have unspoken, Lord knows what it is. And let's just pray the Lord to meet with us tonight. Yes. We don't yes. meet it all, we can meet with it all. We can yes. That's right, man. Amen. Hey, anybody got outspoken tonight, we'll take a request. Richard, remember, I paid my brother's wife. Yeah. And I didn't want to cuss and sure that she has Alzheimer's. Hey, Amen. Let's remember this. Anybody else? Pray for us. Remember, all we've got out of church, so you need to get back in and pray for all my law loved ones, too. Amen. Got to talk to a lot of women. Anybody else? Pray for me and my family. Amen. Let's remember that. Pray for our lost family members. Pray for Josiah. He's out in the field. And also pray for Jamie. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for my being come on for a few days. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I know they'll be glad that the game didn't go by twice as many groceries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <That's the truth. laughs> yeah, let's pray for them. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. I'm glad I got some men that don't want to sit around and not do that. Somebody wants to serve the crowd. Hey. I'm proud of them. Hey. Hey. Pray for them. Hey. Anybody else today? Remember, remember my little son was too, preacher. Uh, God's dealing with the daughter Jan. Let's just pray God keep continue to touch her. She's she's on the verge of, of surrender and I pray God to keep working on her. And, uh, let's remember uh, Brother Daquan McCauley uh, as they pulled the plug on his father this morning. Let's remember mm -hmm. him. And uh, my cousin Heather that was here last week, uh, her fiance or boyfriend, he has two nieces. She asked me to mention this to church. She has, he has two nieces that were in a severe car accident Thursday night with her grandfather. They killed the grandfather and the girls were in very bad shape. So there, I think they were 11 and 14 years old. Anyone else tonight? <clears throat> Pray for Ann Strickland. She's having surgery um, June the 3rd. Hey. Oh, okay. Anyone else tonight? I want y'all to pray about something. Yeah. That thing they have enough, I, it's, it's still in my crawl. I can't get it out. Yeah. Of my <laughs> Anybody? Let's pray God to stop that. Yeah. Amen. I don't think you don't have to you don't have to pray God's will. Ask God's will for not to happen. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Let's pray God. I don't want nobody hurt, nobody killed, but I will yes. I will I pray God do it his way. Yeah. I just don't think I I, I believe God does it. I, I, if it gets done, I'll do it because they said that old crack crowd already sold out. Mm -hmm. And that's not forty and sixty dollars a piece and they went in there and just hit a bunch of Palsy queens and live free us in there. Lord, yeah. mm. let's pray for that. And God will stop it. Uh, and I believe it's, that's what God's will to stop it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. You'd be surprised if people in Lee County go low with that baby. Yeah. Yeah. Go below. Everybody. Yeah. <coughs> well, let's remember that. We're just living in perilous times, aren't we? Yes, sir. I'm glad there's enough darkness to put out the yeah, light. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Anybody else in my country? Y'all hear me pray, y'all be your brother every morning. I got to go to the doctor set uh, Tuesday. I did it.
but I got to do it with the physical. So y'all pray. I told somebody I get aggravated because I can't do what I used to could do. I, feel. I can't walk as fast as I used to walk. It's bad when your belt won't buckle, but your knees will. <laughs>
the things that God's doing in, in, in our lives. You know, me and Mike were talking the other day about the nuggets that God drops on us every now and then. And I told him, I said, my sack has got so heavy, it's busting. I need your wheelbarrow now because these nuggets he keeps dropping. You know, my daughter called me Thursday night. She said, Daddy, I went to church. She said, and it blessed my heart, Daddy. She said, she said I was sitting there and I felt some warm sensation in my chest. A warm sensation drawing me, pulling me. She said, Daddy, I don't know what that was, but, but it scared me a little bit. She said, I can't describe it. Uh, you know, and, and I went on to tell her about, uh, you know, what God did for me the morning I got saved and how I felt that same exact feeling. And I told her, I said, that's the Holy Spirit of God drawing yes, me there. Yeah. You know, and, and, and we've had several conversations, you know, and, and it just, that's a nugget that he dropped and, and, and a blessing. Yeah. You know, my, my, my brother, my brother and his wife are going through a time right now. Yeah. You know, and, uh, um, I, 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 I called the preacher about it. I told him, I said, I just pray God to get the glory out of it. Amen. I pray something good to come out of that. God to get the glory out of it. You know, I, I believe something good can come out of something bad. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. I believe that in my heart. Yeah, that's God. Yeah. I believe that. You know, and, and, and these nuggets just keep falling and dropping. And, and, and today, you know, I, I, I get home and there's a letter in the mail and I open it up and look. And it's from the Social Security Administration. They goofed up somehow, and, and, and I've had three hundred dollars sitting in my account for the last nine days, and didn't even know about it. <laughs> so, you know, I shout and praise God right on the spot. I saw it. Yeah. So, with everything that's going on, I just thought this was appropriate. <clears throat> but lately, I've been looking back along this winding road to the old familiar markers. All the mercies I had known. I know it may sound simple, Amen. but it's more than I can explain. There's no better way to tell you than to say God's been good in my life. I've been blessed beyond my wildest dreams as I go to sleep each night. And though I've had my share of hard times, by my side he's always stood. Through it all, God's been good. Times were playing, I can see that I cried some bitter tears. But I felt his arms wrapped around me as I faced my greatest fears. You see, I've had more gains than losses, and I've known more joy than hurt. As His grace falls down upon me, undeserved, God's been good in my life. I've been blessed beyond my wildest dreams as I go to sleep each night. And though I've had my share of hard times, by my side, he's always stood through it all. God's been good, for God has been my Father, yeah, my yeah. Savior, and my yes. friend. His love was my beginning, yes. and his love will yeah. be my end. I could spend forever trying to tell you everything he is. But the best way I can say it is this, God's been good in my life. I've been blessed beyond my wildest dreams as I go to sleep each night. And though I've had my share of hard times, by my side he's always stood through it all. God's <coughs>
God reload the door and mm -hmm. they're preaching you with right. You just stand still, you'll mm -hmm. see God do things. Amen. Jesus, I go to work, I get five hours to go home, get six hours gone. But God has blessed me this past week. Started a new pay scale period day. I had a good day Friday, got a good day tomorrow. And my boss may call me asking, would I like to get them out there? And she, I said, Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. and that's the way in the road. That it's over five, eight hours a day. I just want to thank you tonight. Amen. Thank you that I say. I want to thank God. He's always on time. Every time. Every time. He ain't never a minute late. <laughs> he ain't never short. <laughs> he ain't never. He's always been God. Amen. And I just like to thank you tonight. Amen. Thank God I'm saved. <laughs> thank God I know the hate and the rest. Amen. I thank God I can lay my head on a pillow tonight. If I don't wake up before to God, I'll be with Him, and I know that. And yes. God's been good. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. My soul in my soul in was out on life's sea, so burdened with sin and distress, till I heard.
The devil always, he'll always try to come to us. Yes. And try to make us say, it's all in vain. Yes, sir. He does. Yes, he does. When you try to keep praying, you pray, you see, don't see no results. Yeah. He'll say, you're wasting your prayer. <laughs> we can look back yep. at the time in our life. That's right. Where God has met our need and God has showed up just in time. Yes, yes, yes. Every yeah. time, maybe. I know we're, we're nearing the shore. Hmm. Yeah. I remember a book of Acts where they sounded that said that they deemed that they were near up okay? here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, we near that country closer than we ever have been tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we are. But hang on, child of God, don't doubt it. That's mm -hmm. right. Because he'll, he'll come through every time. Yes, he will. Amen. Looking back through the years, the heartaches and tears, my Lord has never once let me down. Amen. Though I don't Tell I trust in me plan. Amen. For a sin that his grace would abide. Amen. There's no need to die for right. him now. Amen. He'll make a way somehow. Yeah, he will make a way safely. Hurt with no 
laid on my back, didn't know which way the bills was going to go, didn't know what it was going to do. And I'll tell you right now, boy, I, I, I didn't know which way the yield was going to be up, but I serve a God tonight that met yes. every need I had. He paid every bill I had. Amen. I paid more money sitting on my back and reclining with clutches than I did. I could work in 60 and 70 hours a week. Yep. And God never, never once, but in my opinion, I didn't know what was going on, but he never wrung his hands. He never, he never worried about nothing. Yep. And he always met the need. And I just want to thank you yes. tonight. I thank you that I got a church to come to. I can be his presence. And I thank God for my church family. I close to everyone in this building to have my own family. We've yeah. got that kindred spirit by his Amen. And I just thank God for what he's doing. I'm so glad we can't see what God still work. We might not be able to see his hand at work, yeah. but he's yeah. still working. Amen. And I thank him for what he's going to do. I thank him for all my grandchildren. We've been blessed so much for all the grandchildren yes. we've had. I praise God for the two of them. They serve my country, they're saved, and I thank Amen. God for hanging on. Amen. And I just Amen. thank God for everything. I thank God for you. I thank God for keeping you here. Yes. Yes. Me too. Yes. <laughs> Me too, my friend. Yeah, I sure do. And I don't know what, Brother Joshua, thank you, God, he can keep you here. Yeah, man. I love you, preaching like a daddy to me. He kept you so much over the years. Yes. God, God, I love you. I'm glad he kept you here. Me too. Amen. 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 That's the blessing. Amen. Well, I'll hear bad news a lot of times, don't you? Yeah. 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 There's a verse of scripture I want to read you tonight. Listen. As cold water to a thirsty soul, <clears throat> so is good news news <clears throat> from a far country. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Woo! Let's go, man. That's good. Hey, buddy. Lord, how good. Yes, yeah. Hey, man. He said, I got good news. Hey, buddy. Yeah. There's a good news from a long way. <laughs> yeah. Way up, Mark. They said scientists have said that. <laughs> They discovered billions and billions more universes. I don't know how they know that many, but they say they do. <laughs> but somewhere beyond the blue, there's a place. Uh, there is a place <laughs> for us that have read about it all our life. Yes, we yeah. And he said, don't fret. He said, in my father's house, I'll, be, I'll, I'll go to prepare a place for you. In my father's house are many mansions. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place, I'll come to you. Yes. Amen. 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 Where I am. Amen. There you may be also. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm glad I got good news today. God, Amen. Amen. God has not forgotten. That's right. Amen. God has not forsaken. Amen. One day God is going to free us from this world of sin. Yes. I'm homesick for a place. Amen. <laughs> what power, what John said in the book of Revelation. Come on, brother. He said, I saw him yes, that sat in the yeah. front of the throne. Yeah. He said that there was a multitude cast in the crowd. Yeah. 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 They've been saying, worthy is the Lamb of God. Amen. Hey, God yeah. saw us. Yes, he yeah. is. Yeah. Right. I'm going to be there. Amen. 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 One day. Yeah. One day, Lord oh, God. God. Yeah. Amen. One day we'll say goodbye to this world. Yes, sir. Yes. Enter the eternal splendors of heaven for everlasting eternity. Yes. Man, I'm glad of that tonight. Aren't you glad of that tonight? Amen. amen. I tell you what, I just feel like God is, amen. God is just give us a hope. Yeah. We've got a hope. Yes. Talk about all the stuff going on in the country, in our county, in our town, but okay, what? We just keep, we ain't got one thing to be ashamed of, my friend. That's Amen. right. But I read the last chapter of the book of the Word of God and we live. Amen. 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 Anyway, but forgive, forgive me every day. Yes. I just thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every day. Yes. Yeah. I know what we just kind of did talking today with him. That's, That's right. right. And there's so many people don't see that, for Amen. 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 I don't realize the Lord gave me everything to God. That's, That's right. right. But I know I wouldn't be nothing I wouldn't have done with him. I tell you what. We couldn't even talk to one another with him. That's, That's right. right. That's That's right. right. There to talk, to breathe, and everything else. Yeah, I want to thank the Lord for 
saved from me, coming by my way at night. Amen. Amen. I'll never forget that preacher. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. talk the whole night. Amen. 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 Preacher, I'm going to thank the Lord for saving me. But I want to thank you. I've been going through a lot of hard times, but right at the last minute when I didn't know what was going to take place, he made a way for yes, what I needed. I want to thank you for it. Hey, man. Hey, man. That's good. Oh, that's good. Woo! Hey, man. Ain't that good? Yeah. Holy God. When I think of where I came from and how Jesus brought me out from a life of shame and sorrow, lost in sin, without a Yes. Bless the 
bless you. Boy, Jack, good. Amen. 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 I'm glad tonight that I've got a hope. And I go. And a lot of people may think I'm strange for doing this, but then my wife's birthday, on anniversary, on a Mother's Day, I go to a grave. I know she's not there. But I sit there, stand there, brother, and I, I'll go, go to a visit a grave. I think about all, I saw all the folks is in that cemetery that I used to worship God with. And but you know what? God tell us not to sorrow as those that have no hope. Because mm -hmm. there's a hope. There's insu I'm insured beyond the grave. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I've got a little old life insurance cross out of me. I've got beneficiaries, but the girls, but God, they'll collect on it. And all I don't get is I'm going to have to die. Yeah. But I'm glad I got insurance beyond the grave. Amen. Yeah. Come on, Jesus paid it one time payment. Whoa, how much? Yeah. I hey, man. You can hear tell old brother Rick going on. They'll call me and say, brother, preacher, Rick, you yeah. don't believe it? No, that's I'll right. Be, I'll be, yeah. hey, man, I'll be more alive than yeah. that. Hey, man. Yes, sir. I know I've touched the door of death. I know how it is. I know. Yep. Yeah. But I'm so glad tonight to be in the house of God. Yes, yes. Amen. Anybody else will we preach? Yes, you know. First Corinthians tonight, chapter 15 in your Bibles. Verse 58. <laughs> I appreciate you testifying by the testimony. You bless my heart. You're not laughing. Well, you know what? When you, you cease to let people tell what God done for them, what you do, you robbing God of all his glory. Because right. God's been so kind to every one of us. Amen. First Corinthians 15, 58, one verse of scripture. Very familiar scripture. You've heard it read, you've heard it preached many times. But I want to I want to do give you something to help you tonight. First Corinthians 15, 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brother, be you stand fast and unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Lord, I pray you're blessed to read your yeah, word tonight. Honor God. God. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Paul was writing to the church of Corinth, one of the most fleshly and carnal, one of the most problematic churches that Paul ever had to deal with in the New Testament. He was encouraging them you got to realize during this time of Paul's writings how the persecution of the church was really going pretty strong then. Some of them had got to the point maybe the pe people they were getting so weary that maybe in their mind they, feel, they, 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 they just come to the mind what's the use of going on for God? I remember before I, before I moved here, I worked in a job at a textile mill. We made braided rugs. You've heard of cable braided rugs? Well, that's where I worked for a long time. And we got paid every two weeks. I'm going to be honest with you. Between them two weeks, it kind of got thin. I read the last part of the week the last week. But you know what I was looking forward to? I was looking forward to that pay ain't coming. Have a little, little bit of money left. And Paul, Paul was right in the church of Corinth and saying, look, they said your labors are not in vain. He said, he said, keep pressing on. You know what he was saying? He said, keep pressing on because there's going to be a payday Sunday. Amen. 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 I want to preach on when payday's coming. Mm. Hey, Woo! Hey, man. Hey, man. Yes, play hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. I have to remind myself of that sometimes. Hey, it gets hard. But it's going to be well worth the trip. Hey, man. Hey, hey man. Hey, are coming, my friend. I'm glad it's coming. I'm glad God got something in store for us when we get to the other side. Yeah, amen. Hey, Oh, let me tell you one thing, Brandon. Tonight I know it gets hard. 
A lot of you sitting here tonight and some folks that used to sit in these pews, they're not coming like they were. It may discourage you, but remember, I'll tell you this, God honors your faithfulness yes, and God will take care of those that are not going to be faithful. Amen, brother. Remember this. Remember this. As long as we got the audience of God, that's all we need. Amen. That's all we need. Let me Amen. tell you. God is good. Amen. 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 God's good. Amen. 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 I'm glad He saved us by the grace of God and give us the privilege and honor of just being one of His children. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Some of these, I, I, I've seen a lot of these here, even now at this time of year, a lot of these young ones have graduated from high school, some graduated from college. My grand boy was going to graduate <laughs> June the 3rd, and guess what? I'm going to be right there watching. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And well, I'm going to be proud when they call Nolan Scott out to me. Hey. <laughs> Walks across, he says, that's going to be my, I said, my young man. That's my grandson. Yeah. Proud of him. <laughs> I don't care what friend we need to understand tonight, friend. He worked a long, hard time to get his diploma. And he's trying to get his reward for all the yeah. labor that he's put into school. God rewards us for our work. God is not much worried about our ability as He is our availability. Yeah. Yeah. We say, preacher, I'm not qualified. He don't call it qualified, He qualifies the call. That's right. That's right. Yeah. He said, hey, there's going to be a, He said, your labors are not in vain. You're not like a car in, in, in sand and just spinning your wheels and not doing anything. There, and we don't know what's going on behind the scenes in the, in the unseen world, my friend. Yeah, maybe. But I'll tell you what. One day when all we did, we, we rest from these labors and we'll make it home. We should be motivated to serve God tonight, folks. Amen. The problem any time many of us tonight have been discouraged. And I'm sure we all have. And there's been times that it's, the devil has entertained the thought in our head, what's the use of going on? Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something, folks, tonight. I've got something waiting on me. Yeah. When mm. I get to that heavenly. Mm. Yes. Heaven. I'm going. Not about you, I'm going. Yeah, yeah. Are you going tonight, amen? amen? Amen. Aren't you glad there's going to be a hope? We're going to be there. Yes. Forever and ever. I remember going in that building one house. You've been to Bill Moore House. That's a big shack, brother. <laughs> My girl said, Daddy, only you can say this. I said, Look at how much it cost to eat this place. <laughs> <laughs> I know if we can be all pray for it. But I'll tell you what, as we walk through those rooms, I think I read one time that it would cost today at the day's prices, would it cost around probably what, almost a billion dollars a billion dollars? Mm -hmm. You go in there, you got all kinds of things. But like old Teddy Huffman's son years ago, when do you see my brand new home? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I thought this is a big place, but I'm headed to a better place. Yeah. Come on, bro. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 I tell you what, I can't imagine. The Bible says Jesus is going to prepare a place for us. Mm -hmm. Six days God built, made the earth, created the earth. The splendor of the Grand Canyon and all the other great wonders of the world. He said in six days, imagine what's waiting on us. He's been working off for 2,000 years. Yeah, man. Where we going to be Amen. Pay that someday. Yes. I'm glad tonight. I'm glad one day I'm going to cash in. Yes. Amen. I'm going to tell you one thing tonight, friend. First of all, payday is coming. How we know? First of all, we can know by the assurance of the resurrection of Christ. Amen. The gospel is secured in Him. Yes, it is. Let me tell you what the Bible says here. It says here, moreover, brother, 1 Corinthians 51 through 8, moreover, brother, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which you also have received, and where you stand. By the which you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. 
For I've been delivered unto you, and first of all, which I am also received, how Christ died for our sin, according to the scripture, and that he was buried, and that he rose the third day, according to the scripture, and was seen in Cephas and of the twelve, and that was that he was seen, seen about that five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remained in his presence, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, and, the, and, and then, then of all the apostles, and last of all, he's seen me also as one out of you, one out of you time. Let me tell you, when Jesus arose on the third day, and he ascended back to heaven, the Bible said he went and sat down on the right hand of the throne of God. They're making intercession for me and for you. Yep. But God, I'm glad I'm secure because of the resurrection of Christ. The virgin birth was necessary. Yeah. The bloodshed on Calvary was necessary. But there had not been no resurrection. It all been in vain, my yeah. friend. Hey, me tell you, that's why I'll go preach to you sometime, go to one one that's gone on, and I sit there and I'll hope because I got a resurrection hope. And yeah. one day we're going to meet again in the air because yeah. of Jesus Christ, yeah. God, we're dead, heaven, and grave. We're yeah. secured by the resurrection of Christ. Yes. One day. One day we're yeah. going on to be with him, let me tell you. Amen. Amen. We are saved by the gospel. We're saved securely. I was in agreement with the Holy Spirit of God. We're in our seals in the day of redemption. I can't get lost. Amen. Right. Amen. I, I didn't do Amen. Jesus paid it all. Yeah. Amen. And I tell you what, that resurrection cure. If we let me tell you, they were men in First Corinthians. You read the study about the history. During that time, there's so many had already the, the, the Pharisees had all the, 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 the legalizers had already told them that the resurrection done paid. Many of them, they said, you see, that have them buried. Their loved one buried. And on the inscribed, it would say, no hope. Paul said, listen, we're looking for that blessed hope. Yeah. Yeah, amen. What's your Jesus Christ? Let me tell you that. That word gospel means good news. I'm glad yes, I got good news. Amen. 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 We have heard the joyful sound. Jesus saved. Jesus saved. I'm glad you still have saved. Amen. 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 Only Christ alone. Let me can atone for man's sin. Paul said that in the gospel. He said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, but the power of God and salvation. Amen. Everyone that believes to the Jew first and all those people, that's us. Amen. Amen. That's us. Amen. I'm glad your glory is secured. One day I'll see him. It's secured. Bible says here, I'm glad he said when it, we be reading the verse, verses. We verse uh, first, uh, first Corinthians 15, 51 down to 58. He talked about the, the he said here, but thanks be unto God, verse 57, which giveth us a vision to our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, Therefore, my beloved brother, the text, he said, Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as your labor is not vain in the Lord. I'm glad glory is secured for, him, for us. Jesus rose from the grave and he went back to heaven. I'll tell you what, he there interceded for us. Glory secured. I'm just as much in heaven tonight, almost, as I'm going to be. Because one day, I'm a citizen of two countries. Mm -hmm. I'm a citizen of the United States of America, and I'm proud to be a United States citizen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I also got another citizenship, which is in heaven. Amen. Amen. I don't know what it'll be when I get there, but I know one thing. I've read a lot about it, and I like what I read. Amen. Yes, amen. amen. But I'll tell you one thing, friend, and I, we got to understand it's going to be a payday. Let me tell you, friend, you got to realize that it gets hard, it gets tough. And the devil will rant and rage you. He'll try to stomp you. He'll try to make you slap you around. He'll try to make you feel like it's all in vain. Yeah. But let me tell you, do it by the gospel and by the yeah. resurrection of Christ. We're secure oh, tonight. There's going to be a payday, sir. Yes, amen. 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 With assurance from the resurrection, not only the assurance and abiding in the Lord, there's going to be a payday. Faith in abiding, you need to abide with Him. Everybody here to say that I, you're secured in Him. Mm -hmm. Whether you doubt sometimes, you know you're saved, it doesn't make you doubt you're still secure. That don't change those standards. For God Almighty, if you've been saved by the way of the grace of God, that don't change your destiny, not one bit. 
We need to grow in our faith. Knowing we, we're going to be in a place one day. For our faith to be tested, we need to grow in our faith. I'm glad I abide and he's in me. The Bible said I, he dwells within us. Aren't you glad? Mm -hmm. You know what? One thing about it. A person who has hardly served God shouldn't expect God to do anything for him. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Because a lot of God's promises are their provision with those promises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you folks are I'm saved. I ain't got to worry about it. Forget living for God. God ain't going to bless you. You, know, you, you probably already buy the skin of your teeth, my friend. Yep. Amen. But I like the goodies once in a while. Don't you? Amen. 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 <laughs> but I want to tell you something, friend, tonight. We can't live a victorious life tonight if we're not standing stand fast with the Lord. Yes, that's right. I know you got family members that discourage you. I know some of you have friends and family that try to try you. I know that. Let me tell you, stand fast. Amen. Abide in Him. Let me tell you, He'll live. He'll, he will help you through. Because remember this, at the end of the day, life journey, there's a payday coming. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We need to be steadfast in our faith. We need to be steady in our faith. We've got to be loyal to Christ and His teachings, friend. These Corinthians lead a, led a paganistic life. They did. And promoted great different types of teachings. Paul said, don't waver. Stand firm. Sometimes you may feel like you have to stand by yourself. But stand. Having done all the stand. Now let me tell you, friend, another pain ain't coming. Keep pressing on, my friend. Keep 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 keeping pain. Keep walking. Keep believing God. Let me tell you, God, one day we'll get paid. God's going to be a payday someday. Yeah. Too many people want to beat the payday, but they don't want to live for God, and they don't work that way. Some, I'm not saying that they, they don't live for God and they're saved and they've been saved and not going to heaven. That ain't true. I'll tell you what, they ain't going to have nothing to present Jesus at the, at the, uh, uh, throw any crowns. They won't win no crowns. Our culture has been more hostile to the Christian faith than it ever had been. Our nation has become more secular with ever passing day. People that are not anchored in the gospel or false gospel truth are falling away while others have been led astray by false teachings. And that's right. There's too many people today that served God at one time, but now they've been led astray. Don't even go to the house of God. I'm glad I died in Him. Let me tell you, friend. I don't understand. Let me tell you, if I quit serving God and all, God forbid I do that. But if I quit him, I know what my faith will be. I know what I'll be up against. But God is chasing me. I gotta stay faithful. You have two friends. That's right. Bible says, the word about me steadfast, I'm moving always to find the faith in the in, in, in the walk of God. You know what? That steadfast means be firmly planted. You know what that unmovable means? It means don't let any anything or anyone shake your faith. We see that happen in our churches. Paul realized the danger of the believer being removed from his own steadfastness. He would get involved in relationships with people. They say, but they get involved in bad relationships with people. And before it's over, they let them people stray away. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You better watch what clock you hang with, friend, because you'll be just like them before it's over. That's right. right. Oh, say, if you lay down with dogs, you're going to get up with fleas. That's, That's right. right. Amen. I'm not saying being kind. Not saying not be kind to <laughs> sinners and, and, and be like. I'm not saying, I'm not saying to be partaking of their lifestyle and the way they live. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Too many people. Usually we try to get we try to get the uh, get the uh, church in the world, but now the world's in the church. Yeah. Now they think they got to have all these different types of things. This fancy stuff, and it's okay if, they, if it's good as long as I'm going to glorify God. But I'm really more interested in drawing the crowd and keeping the crowd than already pleasing Christ. Yeah, great. I want to tell you something, friend. 
There's going to be a payday because it's going to be a fruit. There's going to be a fruitfulness in the body of Christ. You ever see anybody, you see people you just can't get along with. You. Have you ever seen, and I believe a lot of times they're jealous because you serve serving God and God blessed you and they ain't been served and they lash out at you. That's true. A lot of them are hobo Christians. You remember the hobos of, uh, up in the early 1900s? They'd get on a train and ride miles and miles and jump off. They'd jump off and go eat it. They would. They wouldn't pay no fire. They'd hop on the train. They, they wouldn't want to pay the train fare. They wouldn't do anything. They just want to go on for the ride. That's where a lot of folks are. Just going for the ride. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And I'll tell you something, friend. Every Christian, we need to be producing spiritual fruit. There's going to be a payday someday, folks. I want to tell you something, friend. There's going to be a payday when we get to heaven. Too many people today, you too much entertainment in the house of God instead of worship. You see them come in, come in the church. They'll get pouty mad because well they didn't call me to say and uh, well, bless your heart. Yeah. <laughs> bless your little pee picking heart. I'll tell you what, friend. I go to some of my friends meet some of these Jubilees. They say, Well, I'm sorry I didn't preach. I said, I didn't come preach, I didn't come get blessed. Amen. Now, it ain't about me, it ain't about you, it's about him. That's right. Yeah. I tell you what, I've seen many problems, brother Phil, in churches. I've been around church a long time. A lot of it is jealousy among the members of the church. Right. One, yeah. one, one member, one, one want to get mad because they don't get to sing as much as the other. Some will get mad because they don't get put in position. I'll tell you what, my friend, and I, I, hey, David, you know what David said about that? He said, I'd rather be the uh, doorkeeper in the house. That's right. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, get the long time Amen. get to work. He yeah. is. I right. get mad. And yes. y'all sent me all that other stuff is That's right. That's right. Amen. Bear fruit. I want to be a blessing. I hope you be a blessing. Yes. That's what our desire ought to be. It'd be a blessing to others. Let me tell you what, too many people, too many takers and not enough givers. But I'm going to tell you what, friend. Paul said in first in Colossians 3.23. He, he tells us that whatever, whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not of me. Now, if you get up here and say, and I don't think our Savior's like, none of you like that. I know you're not. I think you're too good. Some of them get up there and they want to be bragged on. I don't think you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, friend. I'd rather have somebody get up and sing. May not hit every note just right, but I think that other than God, I'd rather hear them. I had a profession. Amen. 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 It's all about glorifying Father the Father, Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. You come to church, that's what it's all about. I come in, I don't come in to get married, I don't deserve to be married, I don't even deserve to be put on a pedestal. If anybody be put on a pedestal, I'll be Amen. 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 You're going to be a Friday someday, friend. Yes. These labors you do, amen, and some people do them with wrong motives, and when you understand it, ain't with wrong motives. Yeah. A lot of folks God can bless you. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of you, we've got some great cooks in this church. Amen. If I lived around here long, I'd be some beans that have to roll instead of you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we got men here that can build. Yep. We got men here that's mechanically inclined. That don't suit me. I, I ain't. Mm -hmm. But what I said on this, everybody, God, every from a little boy like this up to the oldest person in the church, God give you a certain gift you can be used. That's right. Amen. It may be ordering clothes. It may be mowing the yard, washing the preacher's car, whatever. It may be whatever it is. God can use you and God, you can be a blessing. You may not have a lot of money, but that talent of what God gives you, you can use it to be a blessing to others. You can call people when they're out to see and say, hey, I want to let you know that, I, that I'm praying for you and love you. Drop them a card in the mail. Hey, they may go fix them a meal. Whatever. That's what God wants. He wants us to be honored through our lives. Amen. He will be honored through our lives. Amen. Amen. Preacher, your wife don't appreciate it. Well, you do what you say. Let God take care of it. You, God honors people being fruitful in the work of God. <coughs> we got assurance from the resurrection and we abide in Christ. We need to abound in the work. The Bible says to always be abounding in the work of Christ. 
The word abound means to be in excess and to excel at. Many folks do just enough to get by serving God. Paul said we should be abounding in the work of the Lord to point the same <coughs> success. We're not saved by works, but we're faith. The Bible says faith without works is what? Somebody help Dead. Yeah. Exactly. It's dead. Let me tell you what, friend. Let me tell you what, we're not saved by works, we're saved by grace through faith. But God has called everybody, not just a preacher, everybody said in the sound of our voice Amen. has called us to do something for him. We have things that God has got that He can use us with. Our good works are competitive that we're saved. This young preacher I know right now, I'm worried to death about most of I'm worried so sick about it. Haven't been preaching long. He don't want to pray. He don't want to go nowhere to do any extra stuff in the church. He won't serve in the church or nothing. And I thought to myself, you know what? That boy might have missed it somewhere along the line. Mm -hmm. I got saved back in 1978. I was preaching in two restaurants. When God, I'm not my car preach. I, I taught Sunday school, led the youth choir. I, 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 I would, and I was praying on me. I said, I had a desire to do something to be a blessing to the church. Let me tell you what, friend, tonight, friend, we need to understand. We need to keep pressing on. We need to resolve the work. I thank God for folks that want to do something for God. Let me tell you, the Bible says He's able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having a sufficient in all things may abound to every good work. When Jesus left heaven, He knew that He was going to, he was going to be, he was going to, he was going to hang on the cross. He prayed in the garden, I will be done. Amen. His mission and His determination was complete the work of redemption so me and you could be saved. Yes. Bible said he endured the cross despite the shame and he sat down right hand the of God. Mm -hmm. God's got us all to work for us to do. Yeah. I got a lot of emails and texts when I was that guy in the hospital. A lot of them said this, they preacher, God just ain't true with you. I said, well, <laughs> I about believe you're right. Then walk when God gets to we he'll take you on to heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, from we need to understand that we not Paul said we need to work and labor. And I mean it, the work of the Lord involved intense labor united with trouble and toil. There'll be times when you serve God, it ain't gonna be pleasant. There'll be times when there'll be controversies. There'll be times when you have people speak out against you. There'll be times when people will lie on you. There'll be times they'll say things hurtful to you to try to discourage you. But you need to remember this. Weeping may endure the night. Joy comes in the morning. Amen. There's going to be a payday someday. Mm -hmm. Yep. I want to tell you something, friend, tonight, friend. I can't wait to get home and get home. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about 998. <clears throat> I'm talking about heaven. Lord, we will find. There'll be times when there'll be painful work and hard work. At times we'll get tired, we'll get weary. And the work of God, we should never get tired of working of the work itself. I heard people say, I'm getting tired in the way, I ain't get tired of the way. And that's exactly what we get sometimes. We should be motivated with thoughts with our own resurrection and our future life in heaven. Have you ever just sat up trying to contemplate how it's going to be? You can't. You can't comprehend it. Our, our mind can't go that far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> but I'll tell you something, friend. It's going to be wonderful. That's all I can say. Yes, hey, it's going to be wonderful. Be wonderful. <laughs> God's going to reward us one day. When I was a young preacher, Brother Warren, I thought, oh, God, I want you to put me in a church for about seven, eight hundred. I said, what kind of idiot? Yeah. <laughs> I'm satisfied with what I got here. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. All of you old little young squirty preachers, I tell them about, I call them at their face. <laughs> they go to church, they think, well, I'm going to preach, I'm going to get me an easy job preaching three times a week. Mm -hmm. I heard a man say one time he graduated with a, with a, with a master's degree in, 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 in theology. 
He said, I don't need nobody to tell me how to pastor. I already learned how to pastor in church. I thought some, some infidel grabbed you by the leg and dragged you around the parking lot tell me how to change. You don't realize you don't do nothing about preaching. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that don't nothing prepare a man for the pastor. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, friend. we got to understand today, folks. I know I'm running rabbits everywhere, but I like rabbits. I'm so blessed. Amen. Amen. One day our work our work will be tested by God. Bible said in 1 Corinthians 3.14, if any, any man work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall be received a reward. It ain't in vain if it's done for me. <coughs> I've given people money before and I'm not begrudging helping people, but they've lied to me and done with a different thing. But you know what? The, and God ain't got you your intention and your love. God honors that whether they do what they say. We've had people here in our church, people that used to come to our church years ago, that kind of milk and spy with money. Mm -hmm. Had a man call. I just, we need money for it to pay the rent. We helped him out. Come turn around. He, he, he moved out of the house and they blew the money on something else. Mm -hmm. I thought about saying, buddy, you'll choke before I help you anymore. Amen. 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 You, 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 I don't want to know about lying to me. You should have told me. I need my hey, let me tell you one thing tonight, friend. We need to understand God on you. We don't get, a lot of stuff, some of you done with people, and then they don't appreciate it. But let me tell you, God's keeping a record. Amen. 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 Remember one time I was at the hospital here at Sanford, and my wife, this man walked up to her, walked up to the car with money. And you know, sometimes my wife, she gets, she got a hard gut, that hard gut. I don't want, I don't want to get to her. I said, he's going to go buy a wine. Guys, she said, you, you shouldn't have done that. You should pay. She got me under conviction, so I turned around and then gave the buddy to her. Guess what, brother Mike? We saw him head to it up there toward the Circle K now. Going to have to get him some wine. But God said, don't you worry about it. You done it. You done it in the right spirit. I'll reward you for it. I wouldn't for a reward. Yeah. That's just the part of our nature that God puts in us. Yeah. We love each other. We have compassion for me. Yeah. I mean, we did. And yeah. that's what we need to understand this tonight, friend. We didn't see this. God honors every our, hey, hey, We do it in the right spirit. God bless it whether they keep their end of the bargain out of blessing. But I'm home saying tonight. Yes. I'm glad tonight that one day this is going to be a payday. Oh, yes. <coughs> I know you get out of your baby, you're young, and can't wait to say that. I know how it is. You do too. You do both of them, all of them. But don't get, don't be discouraged. No. Keep pressing up. Keep praying. Amen. Everyone, just keep telling. Them. Yeah. If they go to hell, let them go to hell with your arm right there. That's right. right. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. You tell you what, God keeping a record for him. Last but not least, I'm glad one day. And I'll get home. Hmm. One payday, I went to old rugby, it sweat hot, Lord. We're in the summertime. And you froze to death in that winter time. Hmm. But I can't, I never forget, here comes the lady secretary coming and passing checks out. I look at it, it wasn't much, but God honored it, God blessed it. But one day, we got something waiting on us, folks. I know what's on behind that door. When we open that door, when we open that door, when we get to heaven, mm -hmm. it's going to be worth it, folks. There have been many and many and many women have folded under pressure yes. because of the pressures of this life, the pressures of life in general. And I'm not throwing off and condemning them because it could be me. And it could be you too. Yeah. But I know one thing. There's going to be a payday someday. Amen. And last but not least, those that are not saved, there's going to be a payday for you too. Yeah. yeah. You sit there, but you can imagine, you can pretend that you're saved, and you know you're not saved. Yeah. If you die right now, you're 100% sure you wouldn't go to hell. Are you 100% sure you wouldn't go to hell? Yeah. If you're not, there's a problem with your mind. That's right. But I'll tell you something, my friend. 
I, I thank God one day we're going to have that great reunion sky. The beloved ones is how the scriptures will see them again. But those that are lost, when you die, you will die and be cast in the outer darkness. The Bible said to be weeping and gnashing teeth. Say what this word of fire and death is. And the worm never dies. That death worm will eat on you the rest of eternity. Yep. But I'm glad there's a path it coming. Yeah. I preach, I heard Brother Brother preach every dog was going to have his day. He preached on the devil. He was going to have his day. He's going to have his day in court and God's going to save him and cast him in the hill. And I believe we're going to be able to watch that. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't be defeated. 